Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, nearly 10 past three here in the UK on Friday, the 17th of July, uh, looking at Vectorvest USA. Uh, so we are, what, 38 minutes into the American session. Advances slightly higher than and declines. Uh, market hasn't moved much. Uh, in fact, uh, the S&P 500 is up three ticks and uh, the Dow Jones uh, down 35 ticks. So uh, fairly flat open. Uh, nevertheless, all the uh, metrics on VectorVest are good. Uh, and as you can see, uh, short term trend is up, longer term trend is up. Uh, all of the measures uh, of the market are uh, positive on VectorVest. The advice uh, VectorVest advocates buying safe undervalued stocks that are rising in price at this time. So uh, quite a positive situation. Uh, and uh, I just want to look uh, at uh, that's the uh, SPX. That's a five minute chart of the SPX as it's trading at the moment. Uh, uh, very sideways day yesterday. A uh, very difficult day. Those of you that know my work will see the spring. And I bought the darn thing uh, somewhere down around there yesterday. And I closed it out uh, before the end of the session for a couple of ticks profit. Nothing worth. Uh, uh, I, I will be tempted to buy into this again if it breaks up uh, through these new highs uh, uh, in, uh, in the next hour or so. So uh, that's what the market has done today. That, that pennant is normally reasonably positive. So uh, let's look at the Vectorvest Composite, folks. And the Vectorvest Composite, as you can see, is breaking up. It's doing its best to get through this June the 9th high. I think it was June the 9th, June the 8th high. Uh, at the same time, however, the buy-sell ratio can't come to the party. So there is a, a warning signal. I spoke about this last week, folks. Uh, just remember uh, that uh, the stock market is like a huge cinema uh, with a huge screen and one little door at the back to get in and out. The amateurs are focused on the movie. The professionals are watching the door. Okay, so uh, the point of that little story is that it's all, this is all about managing risk. And uh, at the moment, uh, I believe that this trend is mature. It can run on for another few weeks, few months. But nevertheless, this trend is becoming mature. Uh, and the uh, Vectorvest buy-sell ratio is showing us that. So uh, uh, just be careful. Uh, but nevertheless, all looks good uh, for the moment. Uh, I've... Uh, haven't done much since the last time uh, I've uh, s s reported here. Uh, so if we go to viewers, uh, and those are the shares that I'm holding now. Since last Friday, I got stopped out of Fortinet, uh, and I got stopped out of, you know, you're getting too old to do this when you can't remember what you've been stopped out of. Uh, Fortinet and DXCM, I got stopped out of both of those uh, at entry. Uh, and uh, since that, I bought into Coop which comes uh, out of my DEW Swingers watch list. And I bought into Horton uh, because it was a high VST stock. Uh, Horton uh, and uh, Coop, let's just have a look at those. If I chart those for us, that's Horton, folks. And uh, Horton, I just couldn't resist this uh, textbook cup and handle pattern. I should have been in much, much earlier. There's the DEW signal. Uh, pushing up here. That's the signal I've been using in this particular campaign as I've explained on here many times. Uh, but uh, this uh, rounding bottom is not much of a rounding bottom I know but uh, uh, and then uh, the handle across here and I bought into just above 60. Uh, stop loss, effective as stop loss uh, was down around there. I elected to have a tighter stop loss uh, stop loss underneath those lows plus a little bit and I'm hoping today before the end of play that uh, I'll be able to uh, take off a little bit get my stop to entry and just let that one run uh, so just remember uh, the story of the cinema folks it's all about managing risk and managing aggress risk aggressively nobody knows what's going to happen next on a trade by trade basis uh, and our focus should be on perfect execution of this one particular trade in relation to our trading plan. At the moment, my trading plan, when I've made as much as I've risked, I um, take half off, uh, sell half, that means, in trader speak, and get my stop to entry. If the second half goes, great. If it doesn't go, big deal. Uh, so, uh, and we move to the next one. That's Coop. And Coop, I couldn't resist this pullback. 
Uh, that's what Mr. Wyckoff used to call a sweet spot when it pulls back to that last old top. And I should have, in fact, bought that level, but I was sleeping. I was doing a TV show for my friend Larry Pesavetis, tfnn.com, and I bought a break of that high. Uh, it took me in, in fact, a couple of days ago. So uh, that's what I've done uh, since the last time I spoke. And I'm still holding Square. I'm still holding TTD. It's been great. Still holding Lulu. The GDX I'm holding, a Microsoft for a very long time, and I, it seems as if I'm married to AMD, I know, uh, but I'm still hoping that the darn thing is going to break out. It charted an inside day yesterday, as did the general market, and uh, let's see what it's done today. Uh, and it's broken up uh, out of that inside day. It's tried to break out here, as you can see here. Uh, once, twice, three times, and I should have broken there on the fourth attempt, but the darn thing didn't. It needs to break very quickly indeed. It's it, it's wearing out my patience again. You can see the cup and the handle, and there's a huge target in this. It needs to break first. Uh, so uh, holding on to that may be a tad too long. Uh, so uh, in the UK, folks, well, let me see if I can find it. Uh, there's the UK. Uh, this is last night's close, of course. And again, uh, the short term trend is up. The longer term trend is up. We've got a confirmed up. The DEW is up. Uh, however, uh, the uh, conviction of the short term trend as measured by the color guard uh, is not great. And VectorVest advocates caution when buying stocks at this time. Always best to be buying your stocks when the pointer is uh, in the green. That means that the short term trend is up and it's up with some uh, momentum. Uh, so uh, again, uh, if we look at viewers, I don't think I've, oh yes, I bought into HOC.L and that was uh, based on uh, Steve uh, from our Oxford user group, not the user group leader, but Steve, uh, who's a quite an aggressive trader. And uh, he, when I saw it, uh, I missed it, but uh, it was a, a textbook spring. And those of you who don't know what springs are, uh, especially those people that are doing the precision swing trading course, you'll know all about it on Wednesday night or Tuesday night. Uh, market moves up nicely like this, it comes back once, uh, goes up, can't break out, and comes down, run those stops, and then changes direction. So uh, Steve gave me a bit of a heads up here underneath two uh, uh, pounds for that, and it's gone up, and uh, I've taken a little bit, and my stop's now at entry, I think about 195, 198 odd, can't remember why, where, but nevertheless, uh, uh, that, that is a Norris trade. I like the way this is rising. See these bars here? Uh, this is uh, rising strongly, uh, on rising volume, always a very good sign. So uh, the target on this and the measured move, folks, would be that this, in fact, repeats on the upside. And wouldn't that just be great? That would take us up to 230 or 240. That would just be great. Uh, uh, I'm still sweating a bit on, uh, on BH Macro. Uh, and I don't like the market action, I may add. Uh, that's uh, BH Macro. If we look at it, uh, I bought into it here and just about flat. I don't know what it's done today, but I don't like the way this is pushing up on falling volume. And I need to be very careful with that in the, in the days ahead. You see a, a market rising on f uh, falling volume. That's never good. It's more likely to be a rally in a bear market than anything else. Across here, you can see how it was rising on, on, on good participation. It's always good. Uh, and uh, here it fell on uh, fairly strong volume. Uh, and now it's rising on uh, uh, falling volume. That's never good indeed. So that's something that I just need to be careful about. Uh, and uh, AAZ, I bought into it. Uh, uh, I like the look of the chart. Uh, the fundamentals on VectorVest were good, it's undervalued, it's got a strong RV but poor RS and uh, clearly that uh, hasn't uh, aided my case. The rest of them are doing just fine uh, and uh, I'm reasonably happy, especially with Avast. Avast I bought late in the cycle uh, based on this uh, similar, very similar to Horton. Uh, this big cup and handle pattern bought in just about here and it's going quite nicely indeed again there's a huge target in that so uh, like uh, the uh, uh, where am I now uh, like uh, that's the vector vest composite folks and like the US uh, the buy sell ratio or as Dr. Leo calls it the canary is shouting 
Uh, so uh, just regale your friends with that little story about the cinema. Just remember the amateurs are goggle-eyed on the movie and uh, the professionals might have a little one eye on the movie and the other eye on the door. Uh, this business is all about managing risk, especially uh, towards the end of a cycle. Uh, this time may be different, but I don't think so. Uh, Effective S regulars, I look forward to seeing you Monday afternoon, half past one, where we'll uh, actually chat about all of these things in detail, and uh, I'll, we'll look at uh, all your shares. Uh, have a great weekend, and uh, see you on Monday. Bye-bye.